Ay, ay, feel like I made it Tagging my channel, know where I wanna be at Feel like I'm famous Every time you see me post, wait for me at They get the greatest Yo, 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 this is Johnny Trump on tuning in with you live on the Wildcast Podcast Right now I got two special guests right now This is a tryout right now We're gonna see if we got some co-hosts coming in through But we got some special guests right now I'm gonna introduce Bears Society in here What's good, people? Yo, yo, yo. Quasi. Stick Duffels in the building. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Okay, okay, okay. So we got some young entrepreneurs in here. Both of them have their respective businesses. So we're going to cut straight to it, man. Sometimes you got to do it alone. You got to take the first step. Everything will begin to fall in place once you first start. So with that being said, both of y'all got businesses. Both of y'all entrepreneurs. Both of y'all, you know, taking the risk and being out there and trying to be the best you can be and just working with yourselves and shit like that. Mm -hmm. What is something that motivated you to start your business? Uh, so it's a question for both of you. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, yeah. uh, seeing my mom going through the, the hustle, going up poor, not having nothing. Yeah. Ambition, wanting to live good. For sure, for sure. Definitely like seeing upbringing, like I don't know how y'all was brought up and shit, but definitely seeing my mom, you know, working real hard and shit like that, like it, it can definitely be a motivational thing, so I can definitely relate uh, yeah. to that, bro. For sure. Yeah. Growing, growing up with no dad. Yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the story. Yeah, for me, I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> my mom had like two, three jobs, but my motivation for real is just to be independent. Like, I was in the military and shit, so it was just like, I'm so tired of doing other people's work and waking up early, going to bed late, being tired all the time. Like, I literally just want to be in my own schedule. Yeah. So my motivation is to be on my own schedule. Like, I want to be able to just wake up when I want to, go to bed I want to, like, move how I want to, but still make, have a business and profit. So, like, I'm a people person. I like meeting people. I like creating things. And I like vibing. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. So the next thing I want to follow up with that question is since we all have our businesses and we know that we are officially in a recession. Mm -hmm. Like we in a recession. Like, like that shit they talked about in the 1940s or the 1920s and shit. Like we're officially going through that shit right now. That's some crazy shit. So within our businesses, how do you think you will have to adapt? Like, cause I know you do stocks, entrepreneurship and you have your security uh, business executive protection. Yeah, well, for me, I'm not like a regular citizen, so yeah. the recession didn't affect me because I still get a check. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blessed, you know. But like for the regular person, I just think they have to evolve. Yeah. You know, you gotta know how to work the system. So the new way wave obviously is what we're doing now, podcasts, and uh, I mean, Instagram is real huge in people's. Careers, so right, right, everything right, online, right. like getting the digital. If you don't, if you don't use digital, and you're still on paper. Like you're way, you're like you're back there. Ain't nobody really uh, messing with that no more. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess self-explanatory for you, right? Pretty yeah. much with stocks and shit. The market's gonna go down. You can put puts and bet against. You know. Yeah. Do research every single day. Be yeah. one step ahead of everybody. You know. Be the last to go to sleep and the first one to wake up. You feel me? Shit. It's very competitive out here with everything you're doing. That's very true, very true. So, with all the stocks and shit like that, what's a, what's a tip that you can give to, to the regular Joe out there wanting to start out in crypto? Don't, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Yeah, don't be greedy. That's it. Take profits and keep it moving. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So, you know, piggybacking pretty much on uh, what what my boy here, Quasi said from Beer Society, is that um, with content, making content, and and like just putting yourself out there, is the best thing that an artist can do for themselves. So trying to utilize that you're more than just you know a singer, a dancer, a rapper. You have to be your own videographer. You have to be your own podcaster. You have to be your own marketer. You have to be your own promoter. You have to do you know book your own shows and shit like that. So this is just another stepping stone into all of us integrating all our businesses together. So 
you know, first and foremost, I'd like to thank y'all for being here and taking the time out, out y'all night. We know it's Friday night tonight. And uh, we, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels good hey, to be out here that we taking this shit serious on the next level. You feel me? Someone want to carry on with what yeah. you're saying. So, like, like you're saying, we're all in this together. Yeah. So, just because you feel a certain way, like, we have, we are each other's resource. So, somebody out here trying to do the same thing you're trying to do, connect with that person. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel like you're better than somebody because you have 10,000 followers and they got 1,000 followers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all, we, we, we're all teammates. So your, your, your audience is their audience and vice versa. You just gotta, we all have to help each other. You know, exactly. we're, gonna, we're gonna grow. Best believe we're gonna grow. And through my experience, like, I seen like a lot of dudes, especially like in South Florida, man, like they really give a fuck about clout. Like if you don't have a certain amount of followers or certain amount of streams, like, oh, I ain't really fuck with him, this and that. But that could be like, in a way, your meal ticket, your golden ticket out, you know, just because they haven't been heard to the right platform, they can use your platform. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see how that shit goes. But the next thing that I wanted to get into, man, real talk, it's very, especially in South Florida, it's very hard to find a loyal woman. Mm. Mm. A loyal person, because we're not just gonna make this about women, men too, you know what I'm saying? We do, nah, nah, <laughs> we, we do, you know, men do they dirt, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say we, because you know, we all child of God, you feel me? But like, what do you feel about dating in two, 2022? So compared to like back when you was younger, you know what I'm saying? You, you still young, you feel me? You know, <laughs> you're, like, you're a little bit older than us. So like, how do you feel like the difference has been, especially with the emergence of social media and all that shit? I think dating now is easier actually because it's all about act algorithms, you know what I'm saying? There's somebody exactly like you of the opposite sex looking for, for the same thing in abundance. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we don't no longer have to actually walk out in the street and actually go holler at a girl. I mean, traditional ways work too, but everybody's always in their phone. Like you go to a restaurant now, and you, half the table is looking down on their phone. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, not, 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 a lot of these females don't be replying to people when you know. Because they have a type. And you're not their type. They'll, that's the thing. I mean, how can you, how can you know somebody's type based upon the pictures and not their personality? Because there's face value. We're in face value. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a face value, mm -hmm. you're worthless. Even dudes wear fucking filters now. But no, I'm saying, but, that, <laughs> but that's where we're going though. Like, if you, if you don't have a, like, if you don't look like you're cool enough for me to even research for you, mm -hmm. I'm not even going to waste my time. Yeah. So basically, we're like saying, we're the same way too. If girl don't have a fat ass or some nice things. I'm not. I'm not putting <laughs> on Instagram. They, they, they be doing face tune and shit. You don't know what's real. Regardless, though. but you so, have to get to that point. You ever see like a girl look bad on Instagram and then you see her in person, she ain't the same. Yeah, you see that all the time. But you still don't smash. Of course. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> it don't matter. Yeah. But you go and smash at one time. You smash like, twice. You go and smash once and dip. Nah, if, she, you, if you smash twice, you're in a relationship. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying though, like, yeah. That's what's up. So, to follow up on that question, dating women that's younger, with less bodies on them, who, sure, who, who don't got shit, compared to dating somebody who's older, who's more experienced, who's been with more men, but has her own shit. I want a younger chick, but I ain't. You know why? Why? Because um, they still got potential. Mm, There's they, opportunities. They hard to mold, bro. <laughs> they are hard to mold, but like, if, girl, I, if listen, she got her shit together, she gonna think like she the shit, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I, If you look at her for her money, bro, like, that's kind of weird. Right? I don't know, no, 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 listen. Like, you get to a point. It's her life. Like, I've been in both ways. Way. Like I had, I dated like a girl that was like eight, nine years younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. try. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna mold her to what I want her to be. Fuck no. Yeah, like, they, like the younger they are, the more stubborn they are, and the more like a lot of privilege they are. But the older they are, they already been through there, like done that. Like they, they. So ready. you don't care about her body count? She's been ran through and shit. Nah, nah. See, I don't. It, that's different. So, so you're with an older chick, you introduce her to her with your boys, and your boys know her. That want to turn. No, you that, but that, I would never talk to a chick like that. Like I we would, sma I would smash it. But that's no, no. I'll, 
You know who you kind of girls, you know what girls you're talking to. Come on now, you know what girls you can introduce a mom, mm -hmm. or what girls you can't. You know what girls you can introduce to your homeboys, or what girls you can't. You know what girls that can walk out with time with you in daytime, the girls that can't. Like, that's just, we, it's, we know this, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> Personally, I like younger chicks because they haven't been through that much experiences. Oh, I like them both. Don't like, girl, I want to be the fucking <laughs> portal to the world, you know, introduce yeah, them to yeah. shit. Show me what's like. Show me what's like. That's what's up. I don't want them fucking. I don't want to be taking a chick to the fucking club and she hugs the security guard. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm not I'm not security hey, guard. Hey, 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 I got a lot of homegirls like that, bro, and I never did. I promise you. Oh, man. Um, and there's gotta be some that you have to hit, bro. Yeah, sure. You man, might get saved every now and then. Yeah, but they, they, would, they wouldn't disrespect their man like that, though. Man, these chicks be disrespectful. Now, if it's a dude she's smashing, she would. But if it's somebody that she's they care about, it. It's, uh, it's up to the female how they treat they, they, they do, for real. It's really up to the female, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's that's right. You let your girl go on girl strips and go on girl yeah. dates and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. You trust I'm, her? I'm secure, dude. Yeah, I'm secure. I'm secure, I'm, I'm, I'm territorial, bro. Yeah. These girls be having bad influences, bro. You check the show. You better look at who she's around. I'm territorial, too, but my territory expands. Yeah. So whenever she's going wherever, that's still my territory. It's just so like that. You know what I'm saying? So okay, so you let your chick go out with her homegirl, yeah. and she's at a VIP table in Mr. Jones somewhere. You'll be cool with her going out there like that. Yes, because I'm snacking that shit down when she go home. Like at the end of the day, but her friend could influence her to do something bad because her friend might not like you. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, if you think like that, you'll be trapped in your own mind, bro. Yeah, you, for real. That's why you have to have like, I mean, a most. I'm just so always cautious because I know how fucking bitches are nowadays. But men are the same way. Yeah. We are. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I think it's okay. Whatever a female does, we do 10 times. Oh, for sure. But yeah. we're the, you know what I'm saying, men, you know what I'm saying? Providers. They're providers and they have, you know, yeah, well, that's, women. The, that's the old days though. Like, we're new now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the, I'm traditional. I'm like, <laughs> I like that. I like that. I don't like that. But that's what you say. Like, yeah. yeah. But it's different now. You have to like you go back to adapting. You gotta adapt to the world around us. Yes, sir, man. Fuck your Yeah. I'm not used to a girl having her own fucking car and house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when I find it, it's cool. Yeah. Like, 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 that's dope. Like, oh, you wanna buy me, nigga? Like, hell yeah. <laughs> no, that's an amazing feeling, man. Yeah, when you feel that. Then they're gonna use that against you. How about your dinner? Oh, no, no, hey, yo. Then we go buy some shoes. Okay. I wanted to, I wanna give an example real quick. My, one of my, uh, We'll just say somebody we know. <laughs> Fucking uh, with Dave and this girl, that uh, they both got their own money, both make their own money, both have great jobs, right? But I guess prior to him having that great job, she was kind of like footing the bill. Like, so she was paying for dinners, buying him like gifts and oh, shit yeah, like that. I just to and then me. one time this girl got drunk, they got in an argument, and she was yelling out loud, I was buying your broke ass shit to eat, right. this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, hearing that, people would like, lose respect for you. Exactly. Know? They lose respect for you as a man, as a peer. You're mm -hmm. like, damn, I like, need But like everybody goes to those stages where like, man, they were just down bad type shit and they have someone by their side helping them out or whatever. But the fact that she like stood up and was like saying this shit to him and he was just sitting there taking it like just like damn like, that's bullshit. Well, sure. Sometimes you just gotta take it. Sometimes I mean, you gotta take it. Bad, I wouldn't even have to take for real though for sure. Like I feel like having a girlfriend is, is a privilege. It's a fucking liability. Yeah, but yeah, it, it, it's a privilege and a liability because yeah, privilege because you're making enough money where you can spend not only for yourself but for her and possibly, you know, whoever. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what kind of attachments she may have and shit like that. But um, a liability as in you're spending for you're for for somebody else and and they whatever they got going on. You feel me? So it goes both ways. And hey, you spend money when you're single. You spend money when you're like yeah, for sure. Money. I could definitely spend a lot more money when you yeah. know being single and being sure. married. Because you're you're yeah. spending it on yourself though instead of spending it on somebody. Yeah, you yeah, don't feel as bad. Know. Yeah, you don't feel as bad after that. The money leaving you when you spend it on yourself. As soon as leaving you is going to somebody else, I'm like yeah. oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and I'm the type of dude like I'm so used to always being the provider. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So any relationship I'm always in like. I'm buying, like, I'm, I'm paying the rent, and I'm, like, 
you know, call, uh, like cell phone, like so trips. So do you think uh, that shit should be 50-50 or what? Uh, depends on the woman. Like, like I said, well, it's what the woman's comfortable with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it depends on who you pick. If you pick them, you pick them. I don't know. I just, I would feel more comfortable me paying all the bills just because. But that's also a sign of control. I, exactly, I want to control and leave. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, I know. Hey, but, but, bro, I listen, want, listen, bro. That, a good that, leader doesn't have to control his truth. If she gets me mad, I want to kick her out, bro. Uh, if she tries, that's savage shit, man. Bro, hell yeah. But they're going to respect that. You know what I'm saying? These girls are disrespectful, bro. I've been disrespectful. But well, we are just now. as disrespectful. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Bro, like, this podcast is going crazy right now with my dog, Bearded Society 2.0, rocking the adversity killers. That's the announcement that I wanted to give to y'all. A lot of people asking. Yo, where can we get those shirts that you and Stick was wearing? Look, man, go to adversitykillers.com. We're going to lock it down. Go there right now. We're going to send y'all some codes that you can use just for being a part of the Wildcast podcast. Word. Now back to the show. Um, like, I guess, you know, we, we got, we've all done. But yeah, still, when a man is disrespectful, it's not as bad. With women, it's just like. Yeah, yeah. You know no, like, I feel good. like it would be worse because we know better. Because we've seen what our mom's been through. Well, for sure. That's true. And then you still go out there and do the same thing. Yeah. Or like, yeah. You know. So it's like, yo, like, yeah. I'm calling the same hurt. I feel like that. that's just a double edged sword for women and men. Like, so women gotta have the. You, you think women and men are equal? And women and men are equal. In America, yes. yes. So? In America, yes. Or should be equal? But, oh, not not completely equal, but. Should be equal fuck if, if, if this shit get canceled before it even gets started. <laughs> Hell no. I'm sorry. <laughs> that shit. It's like women have to do certain jobs and men have certain jobs to do, you know? Everybody has their role. Yeah, but like, again, you can't think about it. Like the days, I'm telling you, the days are like, 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 But that's women. how it should be, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is in like, yeah. the Bible. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the Bible comes down to what you, as an individual, believe in. Oh, for sure. So sure. If, if you're, if, say, for instance, you're a Christian and you, like the population is 7 billion and there's 3 billion Christians on the planet. I mean, there's four billion people that don't give a shit that you're a Christian. Fucking mm-hmm. sure. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I just feel like the days of like women like working in factories and like doing all that, that shit is done. Like they all want to be pampered and taken care of and like or work careers, bro. Or work hard working careers. But like, come on, bro. How many women you met? Like, I mean, they should. If I met more, more women that wants to get pampered than a woman. Who's like, fuck this shit, I'm at home. I mean, I mean all of us be pampered, but it's the Provide. accessibility of the other be pampered. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's got a life situation. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's just a crazy thing. Like dating in 2022 with all this tech age and information and all that shit. Like it's just it makes it a look like how you said a little bit easier, but it also makes it harder as well because you gotta compete with the whole vast majority of these people. But it goes back to your own mental state. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm the best, nigga. Like, exactly. When, when I send that message out there, like, yeah, I'm the I, best. I'm getting a response back, you dig? Like, hell yeah. yeah. But, you know, furthermore, I'm going further. Fucking, uh, you know, we all heard about the passing of uh, the artist J.D. Young. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really, uh, I didn't really know his music, but after this trip that we took, so I, I definitely know all his <laughs> And listen to you. That boy be snapping. Hey, well, what did I tell you? Well, like, after listening to his music, after he passed, I'm like, yeah, that nigga was a little guy. Like, I yeah. seen that coming. Like, yeah. his, his music alone, like, you hear his. Put it to his spot, put it drain back. I was like, damn, that nigga went shit. He manifested death. Yeah, he manifested that shit. It's kind of it's it's hard because the power of the tongue is very, yeah. very, very real. You feel me? What you speak in your mind, how he, how he was telling you, if you thinking like that, Think so, yeah, I mean, that shit's yeah. gonna happen. You thinking, hey, my girl, you're sexy right now. Some nigga out here. Yeah, that shit gonna happen. You better because of that shit. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta, you gotta be mindful. Like, you gotta say your shit and just like, don't, don't say it. Like, just think it and just let yeah, it go. Can't think it then though, because he. Yeah, no, but there's no way to control you. Like, yo, my girl, right now in her room playing a little pussy thing. Think about me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Mister Jones. She, like, right. she, she in the bathroom with Mister Jones playing with her shit. She's like, yo, that she don't like nothing on my thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Except that you fucking got mad the previous day. Uh, see, <laughs> listen, now you're going into uh, uh, pseudoscience. Like, mm-hmm. you don't need to go into all the extra yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, You got her mad the previous day, so she went out with the girls this night. Cause and effect. Yeah. Hold on. What do you think going to happen? 
Absolutely. Anything can happen out there. So you just got to be secure yourself and handle your business and everything else will fall in place. I feel like if your girl want to do what she want to do, she going to do it. She going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And once you find out whatever, you kick it to the curb, show no love, and that's it. She gonna she gonna miss out. Or she she gonna messy and she missing out her blessings. You feel me? You kill her kind of Isaiah Young. Young. So going further, we will talk about the passing of Jay Young. I just recently seen that there was a temple rapper. I forgot his name. Something bands, something bands. I forgot his name. People in the comments, you gotta yeah. put his name. Um, he basically posted a story saying, "Oh, I'm a little." We give a fuck about nobody, this and that. Like, I'm gonna be in my crib in five minutes, oh, pull up. And, oh, yeah, that's the nigga that This nigga's pulled up in five minutes and got his ass. You feel yeah, me? Like, you, you see me? Like, so that type of shit, you gotta be crazy. You gotta be careful with, like, what you posting on social media and shit, because people can take it, like, on some different level type shit. You feel me? So, I just, like, with that being said, like, do you think being an artist, like a rapper, is, like, the most dangerous job right now? Cause I've heard Jim Jones saying that shit. I'm just like, I don't even put yourself in that situation. Right? Sure. Yeah. Cause nothing's dangerous. Everything's dangerous. Dangerous if you don't mitigate that risk. Like, yeah. If you know what you're saying, because you're like, you want to be hard or whatever, or whatever. Exactly. You, you're you're putting yourself at risk. Like, you're you're already at risk. If you don't mitigate it. It's being a rapper is not dangerous. It's it's how you handle yourself. Handle yourself after the raps. That's sure. what. I feel like when it's just like, you know, when you're young and you come from where you come from, you're the hardest nigga in your hood, basically. Now you're getting money, now you're in different hoods and shit. And so you testing everyone's gangster type shit. And then now yeah. that's how shit gets fucked yeah. up. Yeah, it's a lot more shooting than it was 10, 20 years ago. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was rare for rappers to like that. Now it's like, everybody want to be popping big. Everybody want to be popping big. Everybody want to be popping big. That's basically it. Quick sidebar, did y'all see that shit on fucking Instagram where like Biggie stole an artist's flow of the whole Juicy song? He stole literally the whole Juicy song, some of the words, and he even stole the guy's name. The guy's name was like Big, Big B-I-G something. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then he lost recycling the fucking shit. I feel you, history does repeat itself. But I was like, man, that shit is fucking crazy, bro. I saw that shit today on the way here. I was like, man, bro, this is real. I think it's real. They pulled up with the real information on the video and the song of the dude. You know what I'm saying? I had the archive of my show. You don't know what's real or not. That dude could've been... Yeah, but it looked fucking... Like it could've been. It, that, shit look, that shit looked real to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit looked real, real to me. But fucking... Um, the shit with being a rapper and shit like that. Like that shit... Like how you said... Everything can be stopped. Everything can be like the way you handle yourself. So what do you think about... The case with YSL, Young Thug, and Gunna, them being locked up, like they they have they have millions now. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that they still like, you know, I'm gonna put a hit on this nigga, like, you feel me, like? Uh, do y'all even think they're getting out? Uh, it's cause upbringing, y'all, like, upbringing. All all the thoughts how you were raised. A lot of that shit was like in the past though, too, like when I was five like, years ago. If all your life somebody told you hate something, yeah, something yeah. like. One plus one was three. That's all you ever heard your whole entire life. No matter what somebody shows you on paper, whatever, it's always just gonna be one plus one is three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's like you grow up in those same neighborhoods, you see the same shit. Like that's how you think. That's what you think success is: being the baddest drug dealer, being the baddest enforcer. Like that's that's your success to you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Fuck everything else, like and the money and the bitches and all that kind of shit. But like. Being a hard ass nigga, that's success. And that's sad how we live in that world. Man. Well, that's they'll be out in like 10 years because it's a state case. It's a, not federal. So I thought it was federal. It was, it, was it, was like, it was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a. Uh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, what did you say? I think. For, for, yeah. But I think it's federal. I don't know. I think it's state. I don't know. 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 That's terrible. Yeah. Just for any guy to be locked up. Yeah, that's Joe Biden for a fucking party. You think he's gonna do that? He barely know where the bathroom is. Yeah. Yeah. How many times he done fell since he was president? I don't know. He fell a couple times. Like three, four times already. Oh man. I have yet to see Kamala Harris come out in public and say, Yo, yo I, I guarantee you, she, she, yo, they're fighting. She goes that nigga. They're fighting right now. For sure. They have to be. I'm the king of ghosts. You think so? <laughs>
But again, yeah. like, that shit's wild, bro. But keep going forward, bro. Sports is now starting up. Well, football is starting back up. We got all these different sports. We're coming sports out. betting. Sports betting is, is crazy. Uh, people are making thousands, hundreds of dollars off sports betting. People betting on like if it's gonna be a tie on the fifth inning of a baseball game. And, like, Hold on, is that the lotto? No, I didn't. That's just like a fucking billion dollars, dude. Man, we all won the lotto already. We should. But sports, like, what you want? Who you want to win? I'm, 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 I'm nigga. I'm prefer to be a Dolphins guy. Yeah. Forever. Same here. Regardless, like, like they pissed me off. I had season tickets. I got a military. And they had a losing season. I had four seasons, dog. It was like pulling teeth to get my homies to the game with me. Wow. They didn't want to see the story, dog? No. And then, you know what I'm saying? I read it when I hear shit about uh, Coach Flores, dog. That shit. You know what I'm saying? They hurt my heart, bro. Yeah. Like, my team hurt my heart, for real, for real. So you don't think that coach? No, I like the old coach, but I'm not fucking with Like, I just want to watch the game. You just, you just want them to win. That's just want them to win, bro. So what, what's the predictions for the record this year? Uh, with two at the end, five and ten. Five, five and ten? Five and eleven. Sorry. Wow. Five, five, and, five and twelve. Games, seventeen games. Five and twelve. Damn. That's, that's all right. That's how much faith I have in two of you. Five and twelve. So they yeah. win and, right and game. And Bridgewater, the quarterback? He may surprise you. They going eleven and six. He's a. I think they can break the quarterback. Six, bro. But eleven and six. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm drafting Wobble off the rip. Cause all right, off rip, we're gonna win two games against the Jets and uh, okay. Patriots. Okay. Okay. Patriots is a good team, bro. The only team we beat them last year twice, huh? Yeah, no, Bruce. I think we did beat them twice yesterday. Last year we beat them the first. Uh, oh, we did. Beat first, them. that was the one with King. Oh yeah, that was the first year we saw. No, yeah. that's last year. Last hey, but no, 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 no. no. So that's what I'm saying. We yeah, but they win. still beat us in the division. <laughs> they had a better record. Like, they had, yeah. They were second in the division last year. Were they? Yeah. So they probably did. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I got nothing to say. Um, right now, this is Tua's make or break year. Nah, he loses, last year was a make or break nah, year. Nah, this year before that was this year. Look at all the weapons they have. He has around him right now. So if he can't be successful with the people that he got now, it's a wrap for him. At least in this organization. Maybe he could find somewhere else. He'll be a backup, dog. He don't know a practice squad. I think he's too short. He ain't got no tape. He's five foot. Yeah, I don't know. He's six foot. foot. Is he? Oh, my God. He played in the SEC school. That's supposed to be one of the best. He won a national championship. Yeah, Yeah. but check it out. He had the best team. Of course, he's going to be wrong. They sucked that nigga in. Hey, they sucked that nigga in in the championship. And he won it in. He saved He threw a bomb, nigga. And Georgia lost that game. It's fucking uh, fourth and fifteen, nigga. And you ain't lo- watching a deep ball. Fuck. I, I, fuck wrong. Anyways, no, no. I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is tools, like, make it or break it here. So, uh, man, yeah, we need to get that back. We we have a consistent backfield because the coaches don't know who the fuck. I don't know if Duke Johnson should have led that. Yeah. Sure. That's what's up, though. So to wrap up this podcast, man, we talked about like businesses and what y'all got going on, business tips, you know, and how people can start their own business now on Shopify. You can literally set up a Shopify for free and have your own business set up. Have go to Fiverr.com, get your website set up, you know, outsource some work, get your website set up, and put out your merch, connect it to Printify. Have your own designs, put the design there, and then it gets printed out, uh, shit and all that shit. You don't gotta worry about none of that shit. You gotta just make sure that your design is right, everything is, the high resolution is good, and fucking, uh, you take care of all your business. And um, with that being said, with everyone now starting businesses with uh, like COVID and all that shit happening, like, Bro, there was a lot of people that got laid off and they got fucked, you know what I'm saying? Um, just wanted to end it with like, what's something motivational that you can say for somebody who just like is down on their luck? They got their dick in the dirt right now. They, like they probably ke- are coming across this podcast and they're gonna be like, man, I ain't got shit. Let me hey, just tune in. Like, what's something that you could tell tell them? To me personal, from personal experience, yeah. because I do have um, depression, anxiety disorder, PTSD, and all that stuff. 
and I have tried to take it off, but yeah. um, I would say there is a reason to live, bro. For real, for real. Like, if you stay true to who you are and don't try to conform to another person, you'll find your way. Like, you'll always find your group. You'll always find people that accept you for you and yeah. that won't change you and it'll help you drive. Like, why don't you just keep, like, live for, like, live for yourself because there's something to live for, bro. There's always something to live for. Set a small goal, even if it's, hey, I want to do this today or the next day. And you can continue on. You know, drive you. You'll drive you for real, for real. It's not made for fucking shit. It's a motivation. <laughs> shit, you should strive to be 1% better every single day. Okay. You know? Good. That's what's up. Work out harder the next day. Eat better the next day. Mm -hmm. Read five more minutes. Meet somebody. No, talk to somebody. Talk to that girl. You, go, you see her at the gym and you see her, she's looking at you. One percent better. You know? Test yeah. yourself. Challenge yourself. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's really what I was going to say for myself. I was going to be like, man, just challenge yourself. Every day, you know, every day we have problems. We have adversities that we got to kill. Shout out adversity killers, you know what I'm saying? But uh, every day we wake up, man, and there's a thousand things that stopping us from getting out of bed, from always pressing the snooze alarm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got to have that drive. We, you got to set that standard in your life today. Not tomorrow, not yet. Today, right now. I got a question. How do you motivate yourself? How do I motivate myself? I look at where I was, and I know where I don't want to be. I don't, I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be addicted. I don't want to be insecure. I don't want to be fucking uh, just not re reliable. I don't want to be. I want to be somebody that everybody can be like that guy. I'm. I'm. A, uh, he can hold. He can hold me accountable, and I can hold him accountable because I know that he's gonna handle his shit. I just want to be able to be there for somebody because if you're not, and for somebody, that first somebody that you better be there for is yourself. If you're not there for yourself, how else can you be there for somebody? So that goes with that saying, don't pour into somebody's cup when your cup's not full. I'm not saying don't help somebody out, don't be generous, you know what I'm saying? But you've been there for somebody all this time and you haven't looked out for yourself, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be ass out. So that's my motivation for me for every day. It's like, bro, I wanna make sure that I'm straight so when I get to the level, into the peak where I, where I believe that I see myself as, that I walk in that light, say, you know, stick, crazy, they need some help or something, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be able to be there. So just like how you said, being 1% better, how you said there's a reason to live, you'll find, your, you'll find your, your clan, you know what I'm saying? Keep moving forward and just keep striving forward. Just try to be the best that you can do, bro. And it's just being, going back to playing sports as well, like, Wanted to be like crazy competitive, bro. We just wanted to be the best, you know? Competition's the best thing for you. Exactly. We live in a competition age world. It's player versus player, real talk. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you go to the gym, man, like, come on, man. You look at that. You want to lift more than that. You want to lift, dude. yeah. You see that dude squatting 315. Like, bitch, I'm going to hit 325 on the <laughs> You feel me? Like, you just, you just got to be the best that you can be as, as go as hard as you want to go. But with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all boys again yeah. coming through to the Wildcast podcast. This is Johnny Trombone with you and I oh, checking out with you live. We got my boy Bear Society 2.0 checking out yeah, right, you know what I'm saying. Stick Duffles. Check them out on IG. Stick Duffles. We'll tag them in the comments. We'll tag them on the description. Bear I mean, Society guys. brand coming out soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First of many podcasts. Yes, sir. We appreciate y'all. This is our first visual podcast. We're gonna keep moving forward. Have hopefully have a lot cooler scenery as, as well. Some dope ass scenery. We appreciate you letting us be here. Some dope ass guests. Exactly. Have some nice guests. Please okay. help us out with ideas, thoughts, comments, exactly. anything we should talk about. You guys are upcoming artists. Very true. I'm mean, gonna have a lot of artists that people I feel like you guys should know. It's not just about get to know, yeah. who's got the most followers and check marks and shit. There's a lot of dope artists out there. You feel me that you guys should definitely check out. But again, man, God bless y'all. Challenge yourself, motivate yourself, be 1% better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good morning, man. Good morning. <laughs> 1%. Appreciate y'all. And that was a long ass way to answer.
answer a motherfucking question. Like, man, just say what the fuck motivates you. All this extra intricate shit. Nah, but man, I like to appreciate. I like to appreciate. I like to thank everybody for coming out and at least taking the time to watch our podcast, man. Shout out to Stick Duffels. Shout out Bearded Society. We're going to be out here every Friday. Tune in with us on Anchor. And if you want to see the visual, it will be on YouTube on the Wildcast Podcast, man. It's Johnny Trombone checking out with you live.